isn't it a fact that there has been rather sharp criticism of all the OEO operations in local communities and specifically the legal services programs around the country? And I'm wondering how significant that criticism has been in the call for a redesigning or reshaping of, of the program. Well, uh, let me emphasize that it is not envisaged <laughs> that the legal services program would be funded through the revenue sharing mechanism. That would be a separate corporation. Uh, it is envisaged that effective January 1st, 1973, resources for community action would come through special uh, revenue sharing. Certainly there have been criticisms of the community action program. Uh, the, uh, this was particularly true uh, around the time of the uh, 1968 elections. On the other hand, I think that uh, we have uh, made an awful lot of progress in establishing a good dialogue between community action agencies and local officials. I myself uh, conducted a series of seminars around the country involving uh, mayors and community action agency directors. I was greatly heartened to see uh, what transpired at uh, these seminars. I think there is a mutual respect, uh, a greater recognition on the part of uh, local authorities of the value of a community action agency, a recognition of the need for uh, apart for an independent uh, advocate in the community, uh, recognition of the role community action agencies can play in training uh, people who could then move into uh, City Hall. On the part of community action agencies, I think there's a much greater appreciation of the problems that are facing uh, local officials and the kind of assistance that community action agencies can be uh, toward uh, helping local officials to, in, in helping local officials uh, meet their uh, responsibilities and in becoming more responsive to the needs of the poor. So what I'm saying is that uh, I think over the past year and a half I've seen an emerging dialogue uh, between local officials and community action agencies uh, that gives me great hope that uh, um, what we will see on January 1st, 1973 will be the institutionalization uh, of a program that goes to the very heart of our democracy. Uh, enabling poor people to become involved in the uh, problems that, uh, in solving the problems that affect them.